Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down exactly how you can structure your Facebook ad account when starting completely from scratch with a brand new ad account, right? I'm talking zero dollars spent. You're going to be starting legitimately from scratch. I'm going to show you or how we scale these types of accounts from as little as, you know, 50, a hundred dollars a day to scaling within just a couple of months to well over a thousand dollars a day in spend efficient right and i'm going to walk you through the campaign setup how we're setting up the attribution the ad sets the creatives how many creatives we're utilizing the targeting the pixel setup etc this is going to be super super value packed so without further ado guys we're going to go ahead and dive into the ad account right before we do though as always all the links are in the description if you want to work with us on the agency side and have us run your ads or if you want to work with myself on a one-on-one -on -one coaching basis we have a link to the inner circle in the description as always. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the ad account and show you how you can build from legitimately from scratch to scaling a Facebook ad account in 2024. So let's dive in. Okay, guys. So like I mentioned, this is a completely brand new ad account. You can see uh, literally as recently as September, there was legitimately zero dollars spent in this account. And even in the beginning of October, there's literally nothing. And we went from legitimately spending $0 in this account to as of yesterday, spending over $1,000 a day with nearly a 5x return on ad spend. I'm going to show you guys exactly how we started from day one on this account with a completely brand new account, the exact campaigns that we're structuring every single time. And I'm going to walk you through this literally from day one. So the very first day we ended up running ads, guys, was October 12th. And you can actually see here the date created of all of our main campaigns here are October 12th. And we're actually still continuously running these. And funny enough, if a campaign is performing, you know, well enough, we've had campaigns run legitimately as long as more than 12 months. And we're doing the majority of the testing on the ad set and on the creative level. And so our very first campaign that we're utilizing with every single brand, you can see the first daily budget here was legitimately under a hundred dollars a day and so we're segmenting the ad account in a few different ways so we have a prospecting abo guys which is going to be our the majority of where our budget is going and the major campaign that we're utilizing for testing so inside of this campaign this is a uh first of all a conversion campaign obviously and all of these campaigns are of the conversion objective and the one thing that i want you to notice is when we go inside of here this is an abo campaign for a very specific reason right generally like i said we're starting with a very small budget we're spending ten dollars a day here we're starting with a completely broad audience right so legitimately no targeting right probably the only targeting here is just the country so for this brand just inside of the united states and then we're using whenever we do especially now as of 2023 and, and beyond you know whenever it comes to interest targeting we're doing a very broad interest right very vague interest so for this brand we're selling camera bags we're targeting photography and cameras as the interest so a very very broad target and what this allows us to do is make sure that the audiences that we're targeting are not too narrow and we're not forcing Facebook to have extremely high CPMs. You can just see right away, right on that first day, even though it's like a dollar difference, not even, right? The broader campaign has a little bit of a lower CPM, which makes sense as there's, you know, a, a little bit more room for Facebook to squeeze people in top of funnel. And then generally inside of each ad set, I'll show you why we started to create more in just a moment. But inside of each ad set, we will have no more than two to three creatives per ad set. And there's a very specific reason behind this is because what we've noticed is I'll show you an example. I know we have a one day click campaign here that we ran as a test. If you start to look, if I go to maximum here, this campaign has spent $1,400. We have quite a few different creatives in here, but unfortunately, because there's so many different creatives, Facebook sort of finds their favorite, which is performing really well. And they will not allocate legitimately any spend to other creatives. Now, this is a good and it's a bad thing because Facebook is obviously prioritizing the creatives that it thinks is going to perform the best. But unfortunately, you know, this is just a guess. If these creatives have $4 in ad spend, you know, over a couple month period, then this is not good, right? Because this means that this photo never really got a chance to spend and we can't really justify what calling it a winner or a loser. And so that's why in the majority of our campaigns, we will limit ourselves at three creatives per ad set. And we're sort of forcing Facebook um, to make those decisions as to what creatives are performing on a little bit of a smaller scale, which allows us to make a little bit more of a detailed decision when it comes to what creative is actually performing well and what creative is actually not 
performing at scale. And you can see literally just in the last 30 days uh, within this one campaign, our prospecting ABO, which is the majority of our ad spend, we spend $8,400 with a 7X return on ad spend. And the reason we're utilizing an ABO guys is because the second we're starting to see results in certain audiences and certain creatives, we're scaling those ad sets uh, accordingly, right? And it allows us to improve the daily budget in a very efficient way. We're never really looking at things like learning limited, you know, it doesn't really matter to us. Right, this is sort of just like Facebook trying to get us to spend more money. We're looking at, again, just what is our daily KPIs as far as performance? And you can see if I sort by amount spent, our highest performing campaign has the most spent, right? 8.7X return on ad spend with $1,800 spent. And the way that we do it, right, is so these two campaigns that are performing the highest and spending the most, we're slowly and surely every single day improving the daily budget on that ABO level for each ad set. And when it comes to scaling these accounts and scaling these types of campaigns, again, we're just looking at what is the daily KPI? How's everything look over the last seven days? Okay, great. Let's scale the budget, you know, 10 to 25% on a daily basis per ad set that we want to increase. We're really not looking at like the overall budget on the account. We're looking at just what are the overall KPIs on the account as far as our cost per acquisition. And then the other campaign that we are running every single time with a brand new ad account is going to be our prospecting DCT, right? And so this is going to be the exact same thing, an ABO campaign, but the difference here, what we're doing is more so product and creative testing. You'll notice all of these ad sets are completely broad, but we're testing sling bag creatives, fanny pack creatives, fanny pack and dual harness creatives, a complete creative refresh sling bag creatives. And again, the, what we're doing in here is if you look within each ad set, we're running only one ad quote unquote, but if you'll notice, these are dynamic creative ads. And so if I go to the edit here, you'll be able to see there's multiple, there's four videos and a few pieces of different ad copy within this creative. And what this is allowing us to do is test these creatives in a separate campaign from our main prospecting ABO. Once we find winning combinations of these creatives, what we're doing is slowly increasing the budget. Again, it's on an ABO, right? So once we start to see the performance, we're slowly increasing the budget there just to start to get a little bit more traction on those ad sets and creatives. But once we start to see a winning combination, we move those into a, our prospecting ABO and start to scale those top of funnel even further. And you can see over those last 30 days, again, if I sort by budget, obviously uh, we have our uh, Black Friday campaign, which spent quite a bit, but you know, we'll take that out of the equation for now. Prospecting ABO, which has spent the most amount of money because this is our consistent scaling campaign. And the second we start to see performance top of funnel here, we're scaling on the ad set budget optimization level. And if I go all the way back, guys, the first month of running ads on this account in October, we only spent $4,600 right on, on the majority of those spend is coming in on those two prospecting campaigns. And then we always will test depending guys on the sort of brand. Again, when you're creating a new ad account, one of the things I always think is worth testing the different type of campaigns that Facebook has and offers to us, right? And so what this means is testing a dynamic product ad, testing a dynamic creative test campaign, testing an advantage plus campaign, because each ad account does tend to act a little bit different depending on the brand that you're advertising for. And so for this brand in particular, they have a ton of SKUs. And so we're utilizing a DPA, which is just utilizing their product ads or their product images as ads. And we're just targeting top of funnel. You can see the in insane click-through rate on the first month of running this last 30 days I mean, you can see the cpm is really really high on these campaigns i'm not 100 sure why because it is just a completely broad target but you can see the click-through rate on these campaigns is tremendous which is why we're continuously utilizing this campaign again just on top of funnel with a small budget and then the two other campaigns that we are always running and setting up in every single ad account that we work on is our remarketing and re-engagement campaign so i'm going to pull up the re-engagement campaign first because it's sort of the middle of funnel right this is going to be our social media audiences combined right we're running a dct here so just utilizing multiple different creatives that way hitting creative fatigue inside of these audiences and then we're also targeting every single time instagram engagement last 365 and Facebook engagers last 365 again making sure that even though these are like somewhat narrow audiences right people that are interacting with the brand social media accounts we still want to give Facebook a broad enough target in the last 30 days you can see this uh this campaign alone has only spent a thousand dollars but a 10.45x return on ad spend so do not listen to people who tell you you do not need retargeting campaigns it doesn't make sense we're specifically targeting these people again if you look at the creatives here we have a multiple variations of creatives in here just because again we don't want to hit creative fatigue in these audiences were okay because it's such a small budget putting in a lot of 
creatives for Facebook to choose from. But a lot of these creatives, the ad copy is like, you know, hey, if like, you know, thanks for checking us out or, you know, things like along those lines or building brand awareness and building trust with these people that already know about the brand. And then every single time as well, we're building our remarketing audiences. So this is just the exact same thing, except bottom of funnel and we're targeting website audiences, again, combination. So we have a broad enough audience for Facebook to target. And then we're testing and switching these up by either a 30 day window, you know, whether it's like 60 days, 30 days, 180 days, we'll test that up continuously, but we're targeting these same actions on the website. And that's gonna be view content, add to cart, initiate checkout and website visitors over those last 30 days. And again, you can see the budget is relatively small here. What we'll do specifically, I didn't mention, with these two campaigns, you'll notice they're a CBO, right? Because these audiences are relatively small. We'll just give Facebook the budget on the campaign level and the AI can decide where they want to spend that budget as far as on each ad set and each audience. So if I actually sort by ad spend here, you can see website visitors, which obviously is probably gonna be the broadest audience because that's everybody coming onto the website in the last 30 days, whether that's organic, et cetera, et cetera, and even the people driving from our ads. Facebook engagers are spending, performing, and performing extremely, extremely well. And you can see the unique click-through rates on these are extremely high. Generally, we wanna see a minimum of a 1% on each account. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, these are the four to five main campaigns that we are setting up with every new account that we get started working on. This is very, very simple to do. And you can see again, guys, like I said, we started with this brand in legitimately all the way the first to the 11th spending $0 on this entire account. And if I even just pull up the last 30 days, we've spent $23,000 on a brand new ad account with $167,000 return. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And there you have it guys, simple as that, right? I mean, I could really dive in and break down this into like a lucid chart and you know, this type of campaign set up and you know, we have three ad sets here and you know, that's something I could have done guys, but I really want you to understand that that's not what this is about, right? Especially starting from $0 a day, scaling to four or $500, $1,000 a day. You, the only thing you need to be worried about is the structure of your ad account and to focus on creative testing and just making sure obviously things like your pixel and everything like that is set up properly. So as always guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm. Make sure that these videos get pushed to the right people. As always, if you're interested in working with us, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.